This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Everybody, it's your old pal Ron. Now listen, role playing is one of my most favorite things, and this 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 company that's been putting out these books really really helps in creating your own battles. A matter of fact, I am thinking of using some of these huge maps that I have, these dungeon maps, and integrating it into my Warhammer quest and making up my own quests. I, I mean, it's been, it's that kind of thing that I've been thinking of doing. And when I got this, it just made me think more of what I can do at Warhammer Quest or Dungeon Universalis, um, which is another fantastic game and, and something that I think is a great supplement. And that is the Town and Taverns Books of Battle Mats. These things are just absolutely fantastic, whether you use them for Dungeons and Dragons, so you don't have to set up a whole bunch of things, but taking these books, being able to mark on them, uh, you could put terrain on them, you could do all kinds of things. Why am I telling you all this? Let's go down, take a quick look at a couple of these books, and then come up and get my final thoughts. Now, you're going to get two volumes in this, this thing, and they're going to go together. It's funny, my granddaughter opened, opened this up when we got this yesterday, and uh, she was reading it she was telling me a story okay she's one and a half and she's got we were telling all oh, the road that's where the frog goes and we were making up a whole thing she had such so much fun with this of course if you open this up you just have a plain map which you which you can just kind of create whatever you want with it all right this is together this is a uh i believe it is and i'm going to check right here to make sure i say it right 24 by 24 area so two foot by two foot area which is usually enough but as you turn each thing and how they go together, it really is just amazing. Look, look how the roads all, all fit together here. All right. This just does. So look at this. As you're going into town, you're telling a story and how you create things. Maybe there's, there's other parts of town in here. Okay. You can, you can turn this around possibly if you wanted to okay there we go and do that that looks cool right little little waterway here okay maybe it's just a and it goes through a little tunnel out to the the lake there let's 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 keep the book that way look at this you could turn it either way okay and it'll it'll fit and, and help you tell the story. See how it matches up there? All right, let's keep going. And look how beautiful this is. How much you can, you know, I thought of taking this like with my Warhammer quest and making it look like we're coming into a town and rolling on some of those charts that I have and just just having an adventure. Let it create itself. You know, with the, with the beautiful war, old school Warhammer quest. All right. You don't have to have all tiles, or, or you could just draw an event card uh, on a certain role and things like that. Have certain things. Take that role-playing book and really work it. Use your Dungeons and & Dragons and, and create create things. Maybe, maybe this is an abandoned town. What's going on here? Why is it abandoned all of a sudden? And find some, something sinister that happens here. And tell a story as you head towards maybe, maybe to... To go into the king's room, okay, as, as we head into the castle. All right. Oops, 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 oops. Let's not go too far ahead, right? Look at this. Market area. All right. Tell your story, and then here we go into the castle. Maybe, maybe, maybe tell a beautiful story there. Uh, there's just so much that you can do with this. Look, I mean, just look how beautiful this is. And how it all just fits together. This, these are ingenious, and I, I, I have to say, look at this. Maybe, maybe you come through here, and here sits an evil demon who overtook this town, and is using it for his own things. Maybe you're trying to get into these areas and into another dungeon, and pull out your other books, and see how those all create different things. Just uh, as you can see. The, the wonderment and the things that you can do with this are just un 
unbelievable. So let's go up top and get my final thoughts. Now, I bought a whole bunch of these, and I just think this is going to make my life a lot easier, uh, especially when I try to do things uh, coming up in the future. You know, it seems like everything gets in the way of everything that we do. You know, injuries, life. But that 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 that's life, folks. That's the way it is, isn't it? And, and, and if you keep your chin up and you keep moving forward, like Rocky says, it's about how hard you get hit and how you keep moving forward. An attitude is a reflection of leadership, okay? And I'm going to have a positive attitude if I'm going to lead on this channel, okay, and do all the talking because obviously you're out there and you can't talk back, except in the comments, please put them all there. But... But I think this is something fantastic. The, the, these, these maps, they do so much. They're beautiful. They're gorgeous. You can get them at Miniature Market. Go check it out. You won't be disappointed. And I think it's going to enhance your role-playing experience. Save the time of setup and all that other stuff. And get right down to the heart of what you want to do. Role-play. Believe me. We all want to be knights and princesses and kings and, and queens and 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 princes and and heroes and villains all these things get lost in it find a quick way to get it get it up and going and just enjoy because that's what games are here for all right so until next time it's your old power on we'll see you soon.